Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in my this particular video I am going to discuss some concepts related to statistics part of our data science, okay? So let's start our discussion with types of data, okay? So we can majorly uh, classify our data into two parts. One is categorical data, another one is numerical data. In other words, we can say qualitative data, quantitative data, okay? Qualitative data is those kinds of data which are not numerical, descriptive, like how I am seeing something, okay, or what is my feeling about a particular uh, product, okay, how I am uh, getting taste for a particular food, how I am getting smell for a particular flower, okay, all these things, what is my hobby, what is the color of a particular fish present in a pond, all these things are words or text, okay, it is not numerical, so this is descriptive in nature that is called qualitative data and quantitative data is nothing but numerical data those things which we can represent using numbers on which we can apply mean median mode uh, variance standard deviation all these descriptive statistics okay these are called nothing but quantitative data okay uh, that is numerical form right and in quantitative data there are two parts one is discrete another one is continuous discrete means suppose number of people present in a particular area okay that is some uh, fixed value uh, is possible it is not possible that 5.223377 like that a number of people present in a particular room right this is not possible this will be take certain uh, integer discrete values those are called discrete quantitative values and there is continuous also like average income suppose someone's income is 5000 someone's income is 7000 in between 5000 and 7000 there can be infinite possibility of average income 5.333333 like that it will go okay so basically the thing is that quantitative data can be separated into two ways or classified into two ways one is discrete another one is continuous remember this this will be helping you to uh, give answer in interview process related to data science okay then the next classification of our data i have already discussed in detail in my previous video the link i will be providing in the description box if you want you can go uh, to that particular video and check the detailed explanation that is th this is another kind of uh, classification of data that is population which is basically uh, indicating entire group of something okay and sample sample is nothing but subset of entire group okay now this is very very important concept in statistics suppose i am telling you uh, to uh, uh, give me the average height of a person present in a particular country okay now this is not possible uh, this might not possible for a particular person to go to individual person present in that country and measure the height okay rather what we do we take some sample the sample should be obviously good representative of whole population it is not like that we will be uh, uh, choosing only those people who are very tall or very short okay like that we will be taking uh, one good representative of our overall population okay and we will uh, take their heights we will calculate average of that and we will try to infer our population average height from that sample average height okay so this is this particular sample and population concept generates a new field in statistics which is called inferential statistics that is we do some statistical operation descriptive statistics okay or whatever we do some observation on our sample data and from sample data we try to infer what is the uh, possible measurement for our population okay so this is the whole picture right now suppose we have calculated the average height of our sample is 15 uh, unit okay now there are two possibilities that either the population height we can infer from our sample like that uh, population height is also 15 unit or population height is not 15 unit okay so now we have to uh, just do some mathematical computation to conclude about our population okay that whatever we are inferring from sample data that is correct or not okay our sample observation is uh, uh, followed in the population scenario also or not for this what we do is turn the 
hypothesis testing one of the very very important part in statistics for engineers course which i am also going to cover in my this particular playlist obviously not in that detail how we study in statistics for engineers course because already we have studied this in our engineering now just i will discuss that particular part which is required for our data science journey okay so test of hypothesis is very very important to conclude that from sample if we are inferring to the population whether that infer is good or not or whether we can directly infer like that way or not all these things okay now let's try to solve some quiz questions based on the discussion what I have done and just check how many answers you able to give correctly because whatever I have discussed almost everything will be covered in the quiz questions which I am uh, going to show you now for each question pause my video check the question properly try to think about the correct answer and then uh, just play the video again and check whether your answer is matching with the correct answer or not okay so here comes the first question the field of statistics provides tools to find patterns and relationships in data using mathematics option a true option b false pause my video think for a while and here I am telling the correct answer. So the correct answer is true because you know that uh, using statistics like correlation, we can try to uh, we can find out the relationship between different columns of our input data. Okay, uh, that is relationship between our input features. Okay, we try to find out data patterns. Okay, what is mean? What is standard deviation? All these things and these all are nothing but using mathematics. So obviously, correct answer is option A. True. Okay. Coming to next question, which of the following can be considered as data? Select all that apply. Option A, an opinion. Option B, number. Option C, word describing something. Option D, a hypothesis. Option E, information that is represented or coded in some form that is suitable for processing. Okay. So the correct answer is obviously data will be a number, right? Data cannot be opinion, right? Because I cannot uh, uh, tell that a data is nothing but I like to eat mango. Okay, I like to eat mango. This is not a data. Data should not be an opinion. Okay, it, it, it is kind of uh, data should be kind of uh, some observation from some testing. Okay, like that right that should be some kind of fact it is it should not be opinion of a particular individual so data cannot be an opinion data can be number obviously data can be words describing something like in amazon product when we write some review about certain amazon product that is basically we are showing the sentiment how much our satisfaction level using the comments right so those have data so what's describing something yes a hypothesis no hypothesis is related to the inference what we are concluding about population from sample whether that is correct or not regarding that we use test of hypothesis so it is not related with the data definition information that is represented or coded in some form that is suitable for processing yes that can also be data like for uh, example you can consider digital image it is having pixels pixels having intensity this is nothing but data right and this digital image is uh, such that it is some information which is represented so that our computer can easily interpret the result okay the pixel intensities discrete values our computer can easily uh, process okay so obviously numbers words describing something and this one okay coming to next question which of the following are correct select all that apply qualitative data is descriptive quantitative data consists of words only quantitative data is numerical quantitative data explains a sorry qualitative data explains a hypothesis and last option quantitative data can be discrete or continuous okay pause my video try to think for a while here i am explaining so the correct answer are c qualitative data is descriptive yes qualitative data is descriptive that is nothing but words or text right i have already discussed then quantitative data consists of only words okay no quantitative data numerical so this is this cannot be the correct answer quantitative data numerical correct qualitative data explains a hypothesis 
this is not like that data explains hypothesis hypothesis related to sample and population so it is also not going to be the correct answer next one quantitative data can be discrete or continuous i have discussed right with examples so yes this option is also correct right coming to the next question what are the two main branches of statistics so what is the correct answer yes option d descriptive statistics that is those kind of statistics which we directly apply on whole observation like mean median most standard deviation variance mostly on sample data we apply and inferential is we conclude uh, or measure something from sample and we try to infer for population using test of hypothesis okay so these are two main branch of our statistics which is descriptive and inferential okay coming to next question what are some measures of descriptive statistics select all those which are applicable okay so the correct answer are yes simple obviously all of these are correct mean median mode standard deviation range variance all these things are coming under descriptive statistics that is concrete result we will be getting from the observation it is not like not like that we are inferring something okay the mean is the middle point of data set and median is the average true or false obviously it is false okay see the reason is very simple the mean is the average and median is the middle point of the data set coming to the next question what are the uses for descriptive and inferential statistics select all that apply descriptive statistics is used to understand and define the sample data inferential statistics is used to make generalization inferential statistics is used to make predictions descriptive statistics is used to understand an entire population so see descriptive statistics is used to understand and define the sample data obviously mean median mode all these things we can conclude for a sample data not for overall population because population is having huge number of elements right so obviously first option is correct then inferential statistics is used to make generalization yes obviously from sample we try, try to generalize the result for population so inferential studies is used to make generalization correct and then inferential statistics is used to make prediction see whenever we are suppose we are having some uh, dat a data set that is obviously one sample data because we don't have the uh, overall information of the whole population for any project right we take we, we always get a uh, subset of uh, overall observation right then what we do we apply different machine learning model and we create train that model and we try to predict so basically inferential statistics we are using to make prediction right because here from sample only we are uh, concluding for population or unknown data so obviously third option is also correct then fourth one descriptive statistics is used to understand entire population no you cannot compute mean median mode all these things for population you might con compute but it is not possible sometime like population that is average height of all the people in a particular country suppose india huge population not possible right for measuring individual individual heights so descriptive statistics you cannot use for entire population so the correct answer is a b and c right then what must be true about a sample in order to use it to make accurate inference select all that apply that is multiple choice multiple option correct question option a the sample has to be representative of actual population option b each and every number sorry each and every member of the population has an equal and mutually exclusive chance of being selected in a sample option c each and every member in a population is included in the sample option d the sample must be unbiased obviously option d is correct the sample must be unbiased then the sample has to be representative of an actual population i have already told you the sample should not be biased sample it should be a good representative of actual population you cannot take all the uh, tall people or all the short people to measure the average height of overall population for a particular country so this option is also correct each and every member of population has equal and mutually exclusive chance for being selected in a sample okay mutually exclusive means two things cannot happen simultaneously right now one member when you are choosing for a sample so in each time if you pick up one particular member then other member you cannot choose so for sample when you are choosing the data so each time suppose there are uh, total 10 uh, members in population and you have to pick up five random sample then each time when you are picking one particular person 
you can pick any among them so there are equal chance to pick any among them and when you are picking one person at a time for sample you cannot pick obviously other because at a time uh, taking from data from uh, while taking data from population you can pick up only one so obviously mutually exclusive also so the correct answer is a b and d okay right then next question a good sample will be perfectly representative of entire population with no error true or false obviously it is not possible that you are taking some random sample which is not biased although but it is not possible that with respect to entire population the sample will be having no error obviously little bit error will be coming right if we want zero error then obviously sample has to be huge size and size should be close to population and there is no meaning at that time to make sample so the correct answer is false okay right i hope you have understood this a sample might have some error with respect to our entire population the next question why do we use inferential statistics to determine whether the patterns observed in the sample data actually generalized to population option b to determine whether the sample statistics adequately support our hypothesis about the population so obviously correct answer is both of them the inferential statistics is nothing but from the pattern whatever we are following in the sample data we try to infer that whether we are following the same in population data or not and for that we require hypothesis testing okay so sample statistics adequately support our hypothesis about the population or not hypothesis means what any hypothesis means there are two op null hypothesis alternative hypothesis which we have already studied in statistics null hypothesis means whatever we are observing in sample statistics whatever pattern same thing we are going to observe in population and alternative alternative is no we are not going to observe that in population like that so obviously inferential statistics uh, is uh, all about hypothesis testing right and inference so both of them are correct so i hope you have understood this this is all for my this video if you find this particular quiz discussion in interesting then like share and comment subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of my latest videos thank you